Um, so how about the electrification article? How about that electrification article? Uh-huh. <clears throat> what did you do think? We, do we think it helps or it hurts? I mean, I didn't think he condoned it. I don't think it really matters all that much, but the okay, but I think it's important to understand the failure of a, of failure to make a complete argument. And where the Fair. problems are when people fail to make a complete argument, so that right. when you see incomplete arguments later, you you are able to recognize how they leave people to jump to conclusions that tend to be the easiest conclusions to make and the wrong conclusions to make. Right. And therefore, if you do not make the complete argument, you you are potentially creating more harm than good. Absolutely, would that I agree be, with that. Would that, do you agree with that? Okay, so. Absolutely. So. Yeah, I think, I think I initially read it and was like, oh, this is great. But then after I thought about it, I was like, well, what is Jim promoting? I like Jim, I like his smart, I like Measure Quick, but what is Jim promoting that his app can't fix solve. Is this just an advertisement for Measure Quick? Well, in the beginning, it's an advocation. It's advocating for hey, we got electrification yeah. bearing down on us, like a freight train coming through a tunnel. Right. Absolutely. And I think that some of us are pretty happy about that. Because it could be yeah. an oppor opportunity because a lot of people haven't been, they've been walking the other way through the tunnel mm -hmm. and they're not looking behind them. And that train yeah, I'm getting, platinum. I'm getting, I'm getting calls for two hours away from yeah, me right? for right. electrification consults. Yeah. Electrification calls. So I'm stoked yeah. on it. Absolutely. Right. About to, electri about to electrify my new house. Right. Going to put my money where my mouth is. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know? Yeah. But, so yeah, I'm stoked on it. I just, you're right, he didn't make the complete story. He he presented his, his the problems that his product could solve. Well, he did a good job of sort of laying out, this problem is coming. Yeah. We're not ready for it. Yeah. And then he drilled down and said, in my space, we're not ready for it here. Mm-hmm. And then he went a little bit further and he was like, um, here are some of the ways we could fix how we're not ready for it in my space. Yeah. Now, the problem I see with that is people who don't understand the industry or the fact that he was talking about a small subset of the big problem. And then he didn't come back and say, now, my space is a small subset of this bigger problem, and there's some other things that have to be solved, like this, 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 and this. You know, And so those issues are going to need other people to address them. That would have been the conclusion, right. in my mind, that wraps it all together. Right, but he didn't touch on that. I don't think he did that. Um, yeah. He also it was way too long. It was a it was a long article. It was long, so so it's hard to it's you know didn't keep your attention, but but yeah, I liked how he started out, and and so I was disappointed. Like they always say, when the good writing is tell people what you're going to tell them, tell it to them, and then. Tell them what you told them. Fair. Right? So in the end, your conclusion is reviewing 
what you told them and putting it all in a nice little bow. And I feel like he started out with a an initial premise, but didn't really say what he was going to tell us. And then he drilled down into a smaller premise and then kind of just left it after yeah. talking about the smaller premise. Yeah. <clears throat> now, the problem we have with that is there are a whole lot of people that suck suckle on tit as a lifelong avocation, like these people rewiring America. Mm -hmm. People like that are trying to figure out how to suckle on tit, government tit, by being promoters of electrification. And they might see something like that and get the misperception that, oh, that's all we need is what he's saying. And we need to fund what he's saying and we need to get more training. And and that's uh, how programs that don't help things because they go out there solving made up problems that right. don't really solve the whole, that don't take the whole you know, delivery mechanism into into consideration and figure out how to deliver. Right, one hundred percent. I'm with you. Um. So. So do we do we think it furthered the needle anymore? Do you think there are people that looked up to Jim that were against electrification, and because of his article, somehow are convinced it's okay? No, I think those the reasons of what people would say against electrifying, if anything, would be doubled down just because a lot of the objections are going to be technical reasons. And since he only doubled down on the technical shortcomings of the skills gap and didn't touch on anything else, most people are just going to double down anyways, because those people are not likely to change. But those are like teetering with it. I feel like omitting a portion of the problem just creates a, a sense of self security and that, Oh, well, this is going to be complicated because of the skills gap and that's it. So if we can close that skills gap or if my company can close the skills gap and we can make sure we're installing them well, then that's all we need. And then they go start doing it and then they run into problems. And then it's like, wait, what's going on? We're installing these right. heat pumps. Amazingly. Why is this 14 sear not keeping up when it gets cold? Right. Or why is it burning a shit ton of strip heat when it gets cold? Like <clears throat> things like that. Yeah. Or why is this high end hyper heat, whatever, still not keeping up? It's because your blower door is 4,000 <laughs> or a 1,500 square foot house. Yeah. Oh, but they didn't, they didn't, that's not in Measure Quick, though. You can't identify that problem in Measure Quick. Yeah, exactly. I feel like it you could have changed the title left the substance of what was laid out and just changed the title and it would have been great. But he expanded the scope of what he was planning to talk about with the title of lumping in electrification and his thoughts of this trend. And it opened it up too wide for him to actually talk about everything or he just chose not to. He only doubled down on one small little subset and I mean, when you leave, when you omit a ton of information, people are going to fill that gap with their imagination. Yeah. So when they get to it, if there's if there's not been any, if they've not come across anything that makes them go, okay, this is something I should consider. They're just going to fill it with whatever. And that's just going to, you know, I feel like if anything, if he would have just mentioned it and just left extreme doubt of like, hey, there's also these other things that you really have to consider. And if you don't have these things right, it will go sideways really quick. And even if it scared people away, I think that would have that would be better in the long term than what it would be into creating that false sense of security of that it's only a skills gap problem. I agree. I agree.
but yeah, it's <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see nonetheless. But I, I don't. I mean, honestly, the especially with the IRA and a lot of these other government programs and this le leftist push of this stuff, I think has caused enough hurdles <laughs> that, I mean, in actuality, Jim's post is nowhere near as catastrophic as those. <laughs> That's fair. So, oh, yeah. So I, I don't t see Jim's post as problematic in that way, other than it's a, it's an opportunity to have your radar. What are the I words like, you're trying to say? I, I feel like it was a missed opportunity. It's a little bit of a missed opportunity, but it's also an opportunity to understand how people jump to conclusions without doing thorough homework. It's the same thing that Jeff's running into. It's, <laughs> these guys don't have any idea what the job is that he does. And yet they're trying to define it so that they can get him to sign an agreement to do the job. Yeah. That's why they're, that's why they're <laughs> buying sales and blower doors. What? That's a, that's why they bought sales and blower doors because they think it's just the blower door. <laughs> 